Tuberculosis, according to the World Health Organization, is the major killer by an infectious disease. In fact, it kills more people now than HIV. For many years, tuberculosis has been neglected by many uh, control programs and by the main research institutions worldwide. A uh, few steps have been made uh, in terms of coming up with new diagnostics, new vaccines or new therapeutic options. Also, the spread of the HIV, the, the pandemic of HIV, which is one of the main drivers of tuberculosis in, in Africa, also contributed to the increase of tuberculosis cases uh, in the last part of, 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 of the 20th century. Mozambique is one of the countries with highest rates of tuberculosis in the world and the situation is quite, quite complex. Uh, one of the problems we have is that we do not know how much disease we have and how many people die of tuberculosis. Uh, some estimates say that we diagnose only 39% of the real amount of cases that Mozambique has. And this is a problem because it means that 60% of the cases are not being diagnosed or at least reported to the health authorities. If we don't know how much disease we have, it's hard to establish priority control uh, interventions. In Manisa Health Research Center, we do uh, TB research in two main fields. Uh, the first one would be in trying to characterize and quantify the disease, so knowing how many people precisely have the disease and how many people die of tuberculosis, and also analyzing the determining factors of the occurrence of the disease and of the severity of the disease. And another approach is also participating in the development of new tools, let that be uh, new vaccines, new drugs, or also new diagnostic tests. Of course, we can do that because we have a um, biosafety level 3 lab and we have the conditions at the hospital that enable doing such research. So recent studies that were conducted uh, in Manisa showed that the burden of tuberculosis and HIV-associated tuberculosis is much higher than in other regions of the country. We have also shown that tuberculosis might be one of the leading causes or the leading cause of death among young adults. And a recent study that was conducted also in, in, in Manisa showed a burden of tuberculosis in children under three already very high. And when we have very high rates of tuberculosis in children, it means that the occurrence of the disease in adulthood is very, very high. Although we have many challenges in front of us, I think we need to be optimistic. If, if we sustain funding for the tuberculosis control programs and we sustain funding for research to come up with new vaccines, with new treatments and diagnostics, I think we can win the battle against TB. I think we can be successful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now push you.